One thing you can always guarantee at the Brits is expect the unexpected. The cream of the UK music industry gathered for their annual knees up and also found room for the odd US star, including David Hasselhoff. It's wonderful to be known around the world and to be asked to do something like this. Inside, there were more surprises as show presenter Kylie unveiled some new dancers. Fellow hosts Gavin and Stacey's James Corden and Matthew Horn. Didn't they do well? And there were more collaborations, not just from nominees The Ting Tings and Estelle, but Adele teamed up with Paul Weller to hand him the award for Best British Solo Male. Thank you very much. And uh, sorry I can't be there tonight, but thank you very much for this award. After years of just missing out, Girls Aloud finally scored their first win at the event, scooping the top single prize for The Promise, all thanks to votes from the public. We've been together for like seven years now, so this is just the cherry on the cake for all these years. Adding to their Mercury Music Prize, Manchester band Elbow were crowned best group. But the queen of the night, well, that's obvious. Duffy! Duffy. The singer with her retro sound took three trophies in all for best album, breakthrough and British female solo artist. Um, I don't mean to be greedy and take another one home with me, but uh, thank you so much, the Brit Awards. More than four million album sales, a Grammy, and now a hat trick of Brits. Amy Ann Duffy is officially a pop force to be reckoned with. Not bad after just a year in the biz. And as a result, the 24 year old has won the backing of another Welsh wonder, Tom Jones. She's got a unique sounding voice. She's got a soulful feel about her, which I love. Uh, and she makes great records. She writes great songs. She makes great records. So, uh, and she looks great. You know, she's got the whole package. But it just wouldn't be the same without a Brit of scandal. And that was left to Coldplay, despite having four nominations and producing the biggest selling album of the year with Viva La Vida, the nice boy rockers walked away with nothing.